What if I told you I just built something that was only in science fiction movies a few years ago? An AI that controls drones in any language. And I really mean it, any language. Watch this demo. So basically, you can talk to your drone from anywhere using chat box, voice control, telegram chat, mobile, in your own language, your own tone. And oh yes, even your grandma can talk to the drone. Of course, with some safety layer supervision. Right now, you're seeing that just by talking to the drone, or better to say typing a message, the Arm. drone understood our Take command and created a perfect square in the sky. Simple as that. But this is just scratching the surface. I'm Hold about to show mode. you drone sphere early look. An AI-powered drone control system that uses LLMs, the same technology that you are already using in ChatGPT. This will allow you and your drone to talk with each other and understand each other. This isn't just a demo. This is a glimpse into the future where anyone, anywhere, can command autonomous system naturally. Which will lead us to the topic of AI agents, AI workflows, and MCPs. Haven't heard of MCPs yet? So you will be heard about Return it soon. Mode. They will be part of our daily lives soon, even in how we communicate to our drones. So, want to try this yourself? It's completely open source. Here's exactly how to get started. But, just a warning, we are in the very early development phase, so things move fast. Always check the latest documentation, because by the time you're watching this, maybe I have changed some of the infrastructure of the code, some of the manuals, some of the guides, so this is just a basic demo. So double check with the GitHub repository link of the DroneSphere. Links are in the description below. As of always, first step is to git clone the repository. I recommend using a Linux environment, whether it is native Ubuntu, WSL, or just how I'm doing right now in a cloud Linux system using Linode. Make sure you have all the prerequisites such as Docker for the software in the loop simulation, Python and Python virtual environments and project management such as UB, and make sure you have an API key from Open Router or Open API. You can get a free API and free model from Open Router. All you need to do after cloning the repository is using this one line of command which is make install devs. It will go ahead and use UV and install all the Python library and packages that Dronesphere is rely on. Dronesphere created from three different sections, agent, server, and an MCP interface. And this command will install all the dependencies and three virtual environments for this project. Next, we need to create a .env file. This command will create a .env file and you need to change it based on your setting. Make sure you edit the .env file, not the .env example. And here, input your open router or open API, API key and the model you're gonna use. And that's it, it should work. And the last commands you need to type is make dev-llm. This command will go ahead and create a piece or software in the loop, agent, server, and MCP interface all ready for you. And you can override the QGC IP oh, and MavSDK IP if you need so. At the end, you can use the command make test-demo to double check and verify if agent, server, and MCP interface are working and healthy. If you are seeing these green check marks, it means you are good to go and you can continue. If you are using your own system, you need to use localhost in your browser. Otherwise, if you are using a remote cloud Linux system, just like me, you need to add the IP of your temporary system. Just like this on the port 8001, you can see all the agent side endpoints. On 8002, you, need, you can see the server endpoints. And on 3001, you can see the web interface. Don't worry if you don't understand what the meaning of this API and these things, you don't need them at right now. All you need to do is to navigate to this URL on port 3001. And here you can see we have the Dronesphere chatbot and our drone is connected. Let's use our very own first prompt and ask the drone, where are you and what's your status? It's replied with its altitude, GPS, battery, and it used OpenAI GPT-40. And since the debug mode was on, it reported all the tokens and details of this LLM process. Let's do something more fun. 
I am not a Chinese person and I don't understand anything in Chinese, but I'm going to use the Google Translator and type a command to the drone in English and ask for the status of the drone or something like that in Chinese. I copy and paste the command into the drone and voila, the drone responded me with the Chinese that I have no idea what it's talking about. Again, using a Google Translator, I double check and I understand that, yeah, the LLM technology is working. Next. Let's do something else that you guys don't, un don't understand and I understand. I use my native language, which is Persian, and type some things, meaning take off, wait a few seconds, and land again. And then copy and paste this command in Persian to my drone. And after a few seconds, drone understand Art. what I asked take it. Off mode. It take off, wait for five seconds, and then land. And as you can see, drone is doing exactly as it's land supposed to do. Mode. And meanwhile, I can ask it, where is my drone? What is my battery voltage? And it will instantly answer me based on the latest telemetry from the drone. Here it is. It's on Persian language. Let's do even some other language just for fun. For example, let's use Hindi language, which I have no idea what all these characters are. And I can't read one, Art. even one Hindi character. Take off flight mode. But it works. It extracted three commands. Again, take off to 20 meters, wait a few seconds, wait 10 seconds and land. land flight mode. Meanwhile, again, we can ask for the drone telemetry and see where you are. Or we can ask it in Arabic language, such as Aina Ta'ara al An or something like that. And it will answer me in Arabic at Ta'ara, the location and so on. And as you can see in Open Router, I can see the reports and logs of how many tokens I have used using GPT-4 or Mini. But there's a catch. For all this operation, we used the remote paid API. We haven't used the chat, our own local LLM. And that's come to our next release contents. In the next version, which I'm working right now, we're gonna integrate a drone sphere with a real AI workflow with using N8N, MCPs, and soon in the next version, you can use your own locally LLMs using Olama, and use AI agents. And eventually we will have an MCP that allow you to just have any sort of communication you need with your drone directly from an N8N interface. And then you can connect it to your email, your desktop system, your telegram, your SMS system or anything. And then you can control your drones as if you are sending an email or any other automation you have in your mind. So sky is the limit. If you want to be part of this journey, and trust me you do, smash the subscribe button. Because what I'm building next is going to make this like a toy. But not just a usual toy, a science fiction futuristic toy. But, if you are planning to use this with actual hardware outside, be extra careful. LLMs are powerful, but not predictable. They might execute the same command perfectly 100 times. But on the 101st time, with the exact same input, they could do something completely different. That's why we need robust safety layers and supervision, especially when dealing with physical systems. So until the next time, happy coding and enjoy AI. Remember, the future of AI and robotics is happening right now. And I mean right now. Don't get left behind.